Hello. If you want to learn more about how to improve the security for your open source projects, this presentation and practitioner guide is for you. If you haven't already watched the first presentation in this series, I recommend that you pause now and watch the video for part one, practitioner guide introduction. The newest guide in the practitioner guide series is all about security. It's important to think about security and its impact on project sustainability. One thing I look for when assessing sustainability is whether they make regular releases and quickly patch security vulnerabilities. In addition to just looking at the project itself, it's also important to look at the dependencies and the Libyear metric can help you see whether the project is also keeps their dependencies up to date since outdated dependencies can be a significant security risk. People tend not to trust projects with unpatched security vulnerabilities and are more likely to adopt projects that they trust to be more secure. In short, projects that take a proactive approach by having a security policy, addressing security issues, and releasing fixes are more sustainable over the long term. One of the best places to start when improving your security practices is by securing your code repository. This includes managing access, branch protection, and managing access for your contributors. Another good starting point is creating a detailed security policy, usually in a security.md file. And the purpose of this document is to provide instructions for privately reporting security vulnerabilities, along with documenting how you respond to those reports, including managing embargoes for companies. Dependencies require a thoughtful approach with testing to make sure that you aren't breaking something else when updating a dependency. While there are good reasons to avoid updating certain dependencies, in most cases, Dependencies aren't updated because it can be difficult to keep track of when they should be updated. A tool like Dependabot or RenovateBot can help identify and automatically update certain types of dependencies. It's also important to make sure that your security fixes land in a release in a timely fashion. Now, these don't mean a big release. These are usually little point releases that have the security fixes. But if you make security patches often and don't get them into one of these point releases quickly, then you should probably look at why this happens and improve your release process to make more frequent point releases when you fix vulnerabilities. Many of these improvements are well documented in the OpenSSF best practices badge criteria. Even if you don't plan to apply for a badge now, Working your way through the OpenSSF best practices badge criteria is a good way to make security improvements. And as always, you can find more details in our new security practitioner guide. I hope this helps you use metrics to improve the security of the open source projects that you care the most about. And I hope you enjoy the other videos in this practitioner guide series. So thank you for watching and I will see you around the chaos community.